Uh, Elon Musk's SpaceX says it will spend the coming months pouring over a flight data from this week's launch of its Starship Heavy rocket after it exploded in orbit following a test flight in the U.S. It's the latest in a string of launches from the American company, which aims to revolutionize space exploration, a field long dominated by government-funded space agencies. But despite rapid advancements by private space firms in recent years, many scientists argue publicly funded space agencies are still critical for helping humankind understand the universe. Trent Murray reports. Second stage main tanks on the very southern tip of Texas. It's liftoff for the largest rocket ever launched from Earth. The SpaceX Starship is Elon Musk's most ambitious project yet. He hopes this 120 metre high rocket will be the launch vehicle to help propel his company to the moon or even Mars and make some profits along the way. SpaceX is one of the biggest players in an increasingly crowded field of private companies jousting for contracts in a 21st century space race. But while firms like SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin prioritise profit, the more traditional government-funded organisations like the European Space Agency say their priority still remains advancing science and human knowledge. Space ticks all the boxes. You've got all the short-term benefits, you know, the things that we all use, that we all have, you know, smartphones, the navigation, the weather report. And then you have the more medium-term, I would say, applications. The reason we know today about climate change, the reason we're in position to fight climate change is thanks to all the missions we send around the Earth and observing the Earth. So that's kind of the more medium-term. Space agencies are the champions or of fighting against climate change. Project Rep. Project Rep, go. Many scientists argue that while private space firms are playing an important role in finding cost savings in space exploration, they will never fully replace the need for publicly funded space organisations like NASA or the ESA. We are doing things which are very blue sky, they're very much looking at the basics. It's very difficult to make a profit out of it. Um, but in, So in the same way that you would fund an opera house or, or theatre or other things which are cultural, um, sport and other things. What we do in the science program here at ESA is very much in that domain. For space organisations like the ESA, there is often a need to defend and justify huge amounts of public spending to politicians in parliament, just like that one. And some may argue that that money could be saved and spent elsewhere and space just left to the private sector. But some recent history shows that we may still be some way away from the private sector taking the lead entirely. British billionaire Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit had sky-high ambitions to revolutionise the way satellites were launched by using a 747 plane instead of a traditional rocket. But those goals came crashing down to earth after financial pressures caused the company to file for bankruptcy just weeks after it failed to launch a satellite from UK soil. But public space agencies often view such failures as a setback for broader space exploration goals, given the role that relationships and partnerships play in the international space community. That's our lifeblood, that international thing. And it's a very good thing that we do that because, you know, we're not in an easy world at the moment. There are lots of problems, lots of strife between nations. And bringing people together, you know, who may not all see eye to eye in other areas, but on science, this is something we all think is important and we work together. All this my goal for launch. We are likely to see more cross-industry collaboration in the global space race, meaning whether it's in Asia, Europe or the Americas and liftoff of Artemis 1. We can expect many more liftoffs, both private and public, as humankind sets off to explore the next frontier. Trent Murray, CNA, Berlin.